Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. You already know what time it is, it's evil time. So let me get straight to the point and tell you what I'm talking about today. Today I'm talking about the fact that the NFL, um, so Tom Pelissero, one of the NFL media, um, released earlier this week that the NFL and the NFL Players Association had a discussion about 35% of the players' salaries may be going into escrow basically a pay cut for this upcoming season because we know the NFL is not going to have that revenue. So there was a lot of pushback. There was a lot of pushback. So I'm going to talk to you guys like, should we be worried? You know, are we going to see our Eagles this season? So stay tuned first. Before we see the Eagles, y'all got to see my intro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, Okay, guys, so it was all cute and fun to watch the MLB and, you know, that league have to, you know, work out their kinks with the player's salary, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not big on baseball, so I was really just there for the drama. Like, it was high drama. But now that drama is hitting close to home because the NFL is under the same situation, which is not surprising, obviously, because these leagues are driven by revenue. Like, yeah, they have so much TV revenue, but they still need that game day revenue as well. If that revenue is not coming in, if they don't have the same sponsors as they have, then, you know, the players are going to have to see some cuts. So I wasn't surprised, but I was a little bit shook when I heard the pushback from these players. Um, so basically, yeah, so 35% pay cut that was proposed to the NFL Players Association. The NFL Players Association basically told the NFL, y'all can kick rocks like this agreement is we not agreeing. You know what I'm saying? So when that got leaked out, a lot of players had a lot of things to say, um, including some of our birds. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you what some of our eagles had to say. So y'all know I'm big on Big Play Slay, and Big Play Slay has some big words to say. Oh! Rob, he said we should get a bonus if we play three exclamation points we put in our families at risk Darius Slay has a good point you know what I'm saying like these guys are playing a contact sport y'all want them to play y'all not putting them in the bubble so really they're be they should be getting hazard pay basically y'all see Starbucks and everybody else getting hazard pay so if Starbucks can afford it them NFL billionaires can afford it too okay so Rasul Douglas, who's really, you know, a low-key guy for us, he has some stuff to say, too. He said, yeah, ish can't go like that. Good thing he didn't cuss, because we don't cuss on my videos. You know what I'm saying? And I would want to give a direct quote, so thank goodness he didn't cuss, so I didn't have to. But, um, yeah, those are the most outspoken guys for us, the Eagles team. Um, probably some more guys have more things to say. So, basically... Michael Thomas, y'all know Michael Thomas is one of the, well, I would say, faces of the league right now. You know, all eyes on him, can't guard Mike. He had a lot to say, too. And he said the most boldest statement that I've seen in a while. He said, LOL, everyone will sit out and not play until they get this, their stuff together before we do this. Oh, my goodness. If the NFL players sat out, guys, I don't know what we would do. Like, I'm a little bit worried about this evil season. Um... So hopefully these guys can get everything together so we can have this season. And the fact that two of our Eagles already spoke out just really has me shook. Um, Cause it seems like they're really not feeling these guidelines and stuff that's coming from the NFL. Even today, um, July 9th, um, the NFL just recently banned the jersey swapping at the end of the games. And you know those guys love swapping jerseys and taking them Instagram flicks. Came from the gutter, now we here on the field. You know, bro for life, now we here together. Y'all know they love them jersey swaps, okay? So Darius Slay has something to say about that too, basically calling it goofy and saying, why are y'all banning the jersey swap? So the fact that Big Play Slay is, you know, really speaking that talk, you know what I'm saying? It's got me worried, like what other Eagles is he talking to that's having a negative statement to say? So I need my guys energized and ready to play if we're going to play, you know what I'm saying? Because this is really a time we can take advantage of because a lot of these dudes are going to be knocked off their game and distracted. And you know, we locked in, we ready. So if we can take advantage of this season where these other guys worried about pay cuts and other stuff, we can snag this championship, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm a little bit worried, but I'm not going to be too worried. I was just like, Darius goodness like i haven't heard really anything from darius Slay ever off the field but he's been tweeting and he's been having a lot to say so i'm gonna look out and see what our other eagles are saying like what's the word on the street but hopefully michael thomas is just blowing smoke like uh are they all gonna get together and not play but even just uh, even if a couple of dudes didn't play y'all know that makes a big impact on the team so we need all our guys on deck and 
all the head spaces in the right space okay so do i believe that these players some of the, these players will sit out the nfl heck yeah i do okay these guys especially if they are threatened with having to quarantine Those guys are going to quarantine we're talking about nfl players okay these are the real dudes these are real dudes okay they're not like the basketball dudes in the nmlb like these are real raw dudes these are not the dudes i would try to best with if i was in the nfl and try to get in some oh pushback like the mlb did okay the mlb was able to win their pushback and get those guys to play i think the nfl players are they some real these some real dudes okay they play that contact sport they go out there and push and bang up on each other for fun you know what i'm saying like those are a different breed of guys they're not gonna take a pay cut okay those are the type of guys that's gonna take a pay cut they do what they want they do what they want we've already seen that point blank period so I don't think the NFL, especially now, guys, where these players are really knowing their worth and they're like, these billionaires, they make all the money. They have all, they have billions of dollars. They can cut us that 35%. They, they can afford to give us our full salaries. Like now more than ever, these players are knowing their worth and they know if they want that 35%, they can get that 35%. And if they even, if they sit out one game, them owners aren't going to be having it because the guys are the product. They, they are what we come to see, okay? We don't come to see Lurie. Love ya. But we don't come to see you, okay? We come to see Vince and Deshaun Jackson. You know what I'm saying? So know your worth, fellas. And don't take nothing less. And that's just what my two cents, okay? What's my two cents worth? I don't know, but we're going to stay tuned and we're going to stay tuned to the drama and hopefully you know everything works out the right way mlb chumped out a little bit hopefully these nfl players don't back down all right thanks for watching this video let me know what you guys think um do you agree with anything i said anything it was a little bit of a rant but i'm sure i had some truth in here somewhere um but like comment subscribe let me know what you want me to talk about next bye